This segment of the Nate Climber Connection is on the lighting systems and their respected applications. There are three different lighting technologies in the tower industry, incandescent, xenon, and LED. Incandescent is used only in red, medium intensity applications. Xenon and LED are used in medium and high intensity applications for both red and white applications. FAA lighting types. Medium intensity. This lighting is used on FAA type A towers which flash red at night and are painted with orange and white stripes. These towers can reach heights up to 2,000 feet. In addition, medium intensity lighting is used on FAA type D and E towers. These towers are between 200 feet and 700 feet. FAA D tower lighting flashes white for day and night, while E tower lighting flashes white for day and red at night. Typically, towers under 200 feet do not require lighting. However, if the tower is located within three nautical miles of an airport, it is likely the FAA will require lighting. High intensity. These are the brightest of the lighting systems and are used on FAA type F and C towers. These towers exceed 700 feet. FAA C tower lighting flashes white for day and night, while F tower lighting flashes white for day and red for night. These systems are 10 times brighter in the day than medium intensity systems. However, they utilize the same intensity for night. High intensity are the only systems with a third intensity mode called twilight. This mode is only active for a short time at the beginning and the end of the day. This helps pilots adjust to the extensive transition in intensity between day and night. Lighting technologies. Incandescent. Incandescent lighting was the first technology used in an FAA tower application that dates back to 1915. Incandescent systems are approved by the FAA for red lighting only. Incandescent bulbs are the cheapest and easiest to replace, however, they have the highest energy consumption and typically require relamping annually. To meet the FAA spec, red flashing beacons require 120 volt, 1240 watt bulbs, and red markers require 120 volt, 116 watt bulbs. Typically these bulbs can only be sourced from specialty lighting distributors. Xenon. Xenon systems have been around since the early 70s. Xenon lighting is approved by the FAA for white or red lighting. Xenon flash tubes typically last around two to three years. It is important to only use replacement tubes that have been certified by the FAA for the specific application. Xenon systems can cause interference with antennas if the flash head cable is spliced or the flash head is nested in the antennas. LED. In the last few years, LED has become the preferred tower lighting technology because of lower maintenance cycles, superior optics, efficient power consumption, and longer warranty. LED is approved by the FAA for white and red lighting. LED flash heads are expected to last 10 years before a replacement is required. The latest LED systems have more efficient LEDs, improved surge protection, the new FAA advisory circular became effective December 4, 2015. The previous available flash rate was typically 20 to 40 flashes per minute and the new circular will require all red flashing beacons to flash at 30 flashes per minute setting for new filings. In addition, red markers on towers below 350 feet are required to flash in sync with the red beacon at 30 flashes per minute. Red markers have been removed on towers above 350 feet, however, all red flashing beacons must flash at the new rate of 30 flashes per minute. Owners should contact the lighting manufacturer to see if the existing system can be field upgraded to meet the new FAA requirements. Monitoring Notice to Airmen, NOTAM. The Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, requires all tower lighting to be monitored. The FAA is to be notified if a white beacon or red beacon or red flashing marker stays out for longer than 30 minutes. A notice to airmen, NOTAM, will be issued to alert pilots of the outage. An extension must be filed if the lighting repair cannot be completed within the time frame provided. The FAA should be notified to close the open NOTAM when the repairs are completed. Failure to notify the FAA in the specified time will result in the NOTAM being automatically closed. Safety. It is required to perform a lockout-tagout procedure when working on any lighting system. 
It is important to make sure the power is shut off and the system has time to bleed out the high voltage. This is especially important with xenon systems as they can produce voltage in excess of 1,500 volts DC. Industry stakeholders should always consult with the Federal Aviation Administration and lighting manufacturers for specific guidance and questions related to lighting requirements, compliance, and regulatory matters.